No. You're really not going to like hearing this, but look. When we could only identify a few pockets of corruption in this country, like when people were bitching about the police all the time. Oh, the cops are... And everybody just... Uh, uh, uh. Now look, if people had taken care of that a long time, just that, because that's all we really... Oh, yeah, the politicians lie. And we didn't have all these problems. I don't think too many people will disagree with that. At least nobody that was here back 20, 30 years ago, right? We didn't have all these problems. But the problems we did have, we didn't fix, right? What if we did fix them? What if the people did say, hey, pigs, you can't do that. No, you keep doing that, we're going to have a real problem. Boom, they'd have stopped. Then all these people trying to fuck everything up would have had to have some meetings and be like, what are we going to do? They're fucking fighting back. They're fucking stopping us. Uh, we might have had COVID 20 years ago. Who knows? But the point is, if you're not going to fight, you might as well fucking lay down and pull your pants up and put your ass in the air. For real. If, you're not, if you have no fight in you, you might as well fucking lube it up for them. I'm not joking around, dude. Shh, look around. You got so many fucking problems now, nobody knows where to begin. But 20 years ago, you had plenty of time. <laughs> and when you saw what they were doing, <laughs> when you saw what they were doing, you didn't say shit. But anyway, let's talk about something far more important. How about the 800,000 children that go missing in this country every year? Nobody wants to talk about it like it's not happening. Well, I just shared a video earlier. CIA, ex-CIA, people at high levels of intelligence and having, their little, having a little meeting about corruption. Well, if you don't believe it for me or other YouTubers, this, that, and the other... How about ex-CIA? You believe them when they say it? When, the, when an ex-high-ranking, well, I don't know how high, but CIA member is telling you 800,000 children go missing in this country every year. You don't believe them? But you want to talk about who? SPM, R. Kelly. You want to watch everything I do and make sure I can't make any money. When I'm not doing anything, fucking not selling drugs, not using drugs, not doing, not stealing from people. I ain't doing shit. <laughs> oh, boy. Really? Really? Kind of makes you wonder where all these 800,000 children are going. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe the people that are every fucking where that don't have a problem with all this corruption and hate a person like me might be where those children are going. But damn, damn, that's a lot of fucking people. Damn. Hmm. In other words, anybody who would like to know where the 800,000 children are going each year, maybe you might want to start with the people that are hating on me and trying to stop me from making money. That's always been, I've been telling you that. If, you, if you're having a hard time finding evil to slay, I can point you in a lot of the right directions. Trust and believe. If you can't find anything to do, I can help you find something to do, right? You know what they used to say at work? Your boss would say, if you can't find something to do, let me know. I'll find you something to do, right? Yeah. But that's right, you all just think this is a a comedy special or something, right? You think this shit's all a joke, don't you? Now, you know what's funny? That's a little bit funny, you know? I used to light them on fire, big old flames, especially after we drank cough syrup. Holy shit, dude, after drinking Tussin? Not to get off the subject. You light one of those farts, 
Dude, I, I lost hair one time lighting one of those farts. Anyway, there's your comedy for the day. Now, can we get busy? Oh, and by the way, even before the weirdos, you know, the funny people, not funny, haha, you know, you know, you know who I'm talking about. Okay, those people, even, they said it, but not until I said it, of course. I said, you know, all this movement towards that funny business seems like a tactic to usher in the kid fucking. And then even the funny people started saying that because they could see it. They're like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh my God, I think this is going somewhere we don't want to go. At least not some of us. Yeah. And they started saying exactly what I said, that this is leading that direction. And they no longer were like, uh, uh, yeah, no. See, some of them had the fucking character, at least some character enough to say this is going a bad, in a bad direction. They had to break off from their little fucking psychotic fucking cult for a moment and speak the truth, you know? But anyway, on that subject, it's kind of funny, right? You know, the movement, the lives that matter mixed with the funnies. Real funny. So you got the one group, who I can clearly see. <laughs> I don't know which is worse, honestly, at this point. I mean, these people are just blatant. They're all about slavery. And then the funny people, I don't know. They're just funny. I don't They're just fucking weird. I don't know. I mean, when it, slavery and sex trafficking. It's all up in that mix right there. Between those two groups, burning shit down and everything. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love a good fire. And those were some good fires. But the people behind them, mm-mm.